Texan Global School Laws of Exponents and Radicals The laws of exponents and radicals are definitions that serve to simplify products or quotients between algebraic expressions. We present the laws of exponents again as a reminder. These laws have already been analyzed in previous videos. These are important to have on hand, as we will use them in the following exercises to simplify algebraic expressions with radicals. The first law of radicals that we will analyze indicates that the nth root of a is equivalent to raising the base a at 1 over n as long as it is defined. Let's see the first example. We will make direct applications of this formula. The square root of 3 can be represented as 3 raised to 1 half. Recall that base 3, by definition, is raised to the first power and the square root index is 2. The cube root of x can be represented as x raised to 1 third. The exponent of the x goes as the numerator and the index of the root as the denominator of the exponent of the base. The product a b in fifth root can be represented as a b raised to one fifth. Finally, the fourth root of the quotient r over s can be represented using this definition as r over s raised to one fourth. From this first definition, the following can be deduced, which indicates that the nth root of a raised to m is equivalent to the base a raised to m over n. Let's see some examples of direct application of this formula. The square root of 5 cubed equals 5 to the 3 halves. We also see how the exponent of the base goes as the numerator and the index as the denominator of the exponent. The cube root of y squared is equivalent to y raised to 2 thirds by definition. In the following case, a raised to the seventh power times b raised also to the seventh power. It can be represented as the product of a times b raised to the seventh power. Then, the fifth root of that product equals the product of a, b, raised to the 7 fifth. Finally, the fourth root of the quotient w cubed over t cubed can be represented as the quotient w over t cubed. Then, the fourth root of the cubed quotient w over t is equal to the quotient w over t raised to 3 quarters. The following radical law indicates that the nth root of the product of any two numbers, a and b, is equivalent to the product of the nth root of a by the nth root of b. Let's see some examples of direct application of this formula. The square root of 2, t, using the first radical formula, can be expressed as 2t raised to 1 half. By laws of exponents, it can be separated as 2 to 1 half times t to 1 half. Finally, we show that the square root of the product 2t is equal to the square root of 2 times the square root of t. On the other hand, the cube root of 5x is equivalent to the cube root of 5 times the cube root of x using the formula directly. The following radical law indicates that the quotient of the nth root of a over the nth root of b is equivalent to the nth root of the quotient of a over b. Let's see some examples of direct application of this formula. The cube root of 5 over the cube root of 7 can be represented as the cube root of 5 sevenths. On the other hand, the fourth root of cubed w over the fourth root of t to the fifth power can be expressed as the fourth root of cubed w over t to the fifth power. In this following law of radicals, we can see that the nth root of the nth root of a is equivalent to the product of root m times n of the base a. That is, the indices are multiplied to simplify to a single root. In the following examples of direct application, we can see that the fifth root of the cube root of 11, multiplying the indexes of the radicals, 
is simplified as the 15th root of 11, the fourth root of the fifth root of 2. Applying this law, it is expressed as the 20th root of 2. Finally, the cube root of the square root of cubic x, multiplying the indices, is represented as the sixth root of cubic x. However, in this last example, we can see that it can be represented as x to the 3 6, which, simplifying the fraction, we obtain x raised to 1 half or square root of x. We present the complete form of laws of exponents and radicals to simplify algebraic expressions. They ask us to simplify the following expression by representing the result with positive exponents, and if applicable, we will transform fractional exponents as radicals. First, we will transform radicals to factors with fractional exponents with the specified formulas. In this case, we only transform the square root of b from the denominator as b raised to 1 half. Now, we will group factors with equal bases with the laws of the exponents. Practically, we will move all the factors of the denominator towards the numerator. This implies that they will move with the opposite sign in their exponent. Now, we will simplify factors with equal bases by adding or subtracting the exponents. In this way, we simplify each number or variable to a single base. We will then represent the result with positive exponents, lowering those factors with negative exponents, thus implying a sign change. In this case, the only one that we will move to the denominator is 2 raised to negative 1. Finally, as we already have all the factors simplified and represented with positive exponents, we will transform those factors with fractional exponents. The factor b to the 3 halves is transformed to the square root of cubic b. In this particular case, c was raised to 0, which by definition is 1. With this procedure, we obtain a simplified result, represented with positive and radical exponents of cubic a, times the square root of cubic b, all over 2. Simplifying the following expression, we will transform all radicals to factors with fractional exponents. We obtain thus w raised to 2 quarters over w raised to 8 quarters. We simplify fractions thus obtaining the w raised to 1 half power over w squared. Whenever fractions can be simplified, it is suggested to do so to facilitate the simplification process. Now, we group factors with equal bases by raising the denominator with the opposite sign. We obtain w raised to 1 half times w raised to negative 2. We then simplify the product of equal bases, subtracting the exponents, thus obtaining w raised to negative 3 halves. Representing the result with positive exponents, in this case, we will move the variable to the denominator, obtaining 1 over w raised to the power of 3 halves. Finally, we get 1 over the square root of cubic w. In this last example, we will simplify the given expression. Since we have several factors within a radical, we will separate each factor into a radical with the same index, using the specified radical law. Then we will transform all radicals to bases with fractional exponents. We simplify fractions. Hence, we group equal bases by moving all the denominator factors with a change of sign. We simplify each number and variable to a single base by adding or subtracting exponents. Finally, we represent with positive exponents, moving those bases with negative exponents to the denominator. Thus, we represent factors with fractional exponents as radical. Texan Global School Global Online Learning Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com